Hello 4-H families. I am excited to present to you a new 4-H uh, record bookkeeping system for the 2023-2024 program year. Uh, the record book will look very similar to what it has in the past um, and still have um, an organizational information section, a personal area, and a project area, but the documents inside of it will be a little bit different. Um, this first page, Table of Contents, will help you set up your record book in this format um, so you can follow right along on this page with what I'm going to be talking about in this video. So uh, your very first uh, section is that organizational information section and um, if you have previously had a record book, you can go ahead and just replace those old documents with these new documents. So this includes this Table of Contents page the participation requirements for Iowa 4-H, um, a record keeping overview document that will help you have a great record book. Um, it includes philosophy for record keeping as well as guidelines, um, different steps and things to consider, and um, options for different types of record keeping. And then there's also a goal setting worksheet. Um, so to help you set goals for your record book, make sure that you include an action, a result, and a timetable within your goals as well as sample ideas for communication, civic engagement, and leadership activities. So once again, you can just go ahead and replace um, your front organizational information from your old record book with these new documents. The next area is your personal area, and your personal area should be split by program years that you've been involved in 4-H. So your very first thing in your personal area should be your 4-H membership recognition certificate. If you have not had a record book in the past, or if this is your first year making a record book, you will get this certificate once you turn in your record book at the end of the program year. Then start with your most current uh, program year. So for this year, that would be 2022-2023. The first page should be a record keeping evaluation document. This is the document that your 4-H leader will use to provide feedback to you on your record book. You don't need to fill anything out on this page. You just need to place it here for your leader to use. After that, you will either have a resume or the 4-H yearly summary document. So you can use your resume or this document. For your resume, uh, you can include things like your experience, um, your skills, awards, activities, anything that you have done in or outside of 4-H. It includes everything that you've done um, throughout your academic career um, and things that you've done in community service-wise, whatever you would like to include, but it doesn't have to be just things for 4-H. I would recommend if you are in 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, or 12th grade to make a resume. Um, if you are a younger 4-H'er, -er, or maybe if this is your first year um, in 4-H, you can use this yearly summary document instead. It is very similar to a resume, but is just uh, a little simpler version and has more of a template to it. There are templates for resumes on the Muscatine County Extension webpage that you can use also. After your resume or yearly summary document, you should have your 4-H member personal records form. Uh, this is a brand new document that will now make up the majority of your record book for the upcoming year. So at the start, you should just fill in your, your personal information for the year. So um, starting with uh, your new program year, 2023-2024, um, as well as your current grade and the number of years that you've been in 4-H, and then any project areas that you're going to be involved in in this upcoming year. The very first thing you should do is to sit down and some, set some goals for this new program year. So uh, hopefully you can set some goals in um, your a communication goal, a service learning and civic engagement goal, a leadership goal, and a project area goal. These goals should include an action and result in a timeline, um, so make sure that you put those things within your goal. And then once your goal is completed, you can record that date on the side here. So in this example, Jane Doe has a communication goal of, I want to give a presentation about how to make French toast by the May Club meeting, a service learning or civic engagement goal of, I want to volunteer to participate in Bacon Buddies at the Muscatine County Fair, a leadership goal, I would like to learn how to take proper meeting minutes as the club secretary by the December meeting, and a project area goal, she actually has two, I would like to volunteer to help promote the blood drive in March, and I want to learn how to edit photographs with an app on my phone before July. So those are her goals for this next uh, program year. After she has set those goals, um, Jane will uh, sit down and um, hopefully once per month do some reflection on her goals. So after this front page, there are 12 
of these pages that are all the exact same and that all ask the same two questions. So list below what you have done since you set your goals to reach your personal goals and tell what you have learned, how you feel and or how you have grown or changed since you set your goals. And if you've changed your added new goals, include why, what worked, and what did not work as you planned. So uh, in this example, Jane, in November, she did some reflection and she attended her first club officer training and she downloaded the app Lightroom to use to edit her photographs. Um, at club officer training, she learned what meeting minutes are used for and the different parts of the minutes. She learned that it's important to include the date, time, and members present at the meeting in the minutes, and um, that she should keep track of who moves and seconds each motion and the count of the vote and if it passes or not. And uh, she also thinks that the Lightroom app is hard to use. So uh, she has just a very short reflection. It does not need to be lengthy. Um, and then uh, on the back side, there is a space to include uh, some pictures or clippings or other documents that relate to your first record there. So this is club officer training that Jane attended. And then uh, in the next day, it goes on um, for every single month or so uh, to continue to ask the same questions and to record those out. Um, not every single uh, record has to include every single goal that was set here. It's just simply what have you done um, towards one or multiple of these goals since the last time that you did a, a record. So for her second record, Jane took minutes at the December club meeting um, and her reflection includes that she was nervous to take the minutes. Um, and since she completed her uh, first goal of taking minutes, um, she set a new goal for herself to read the minutes without having to repeat herself because she talked too quiet quietly. And then there, here is an example of uh, something that you can include like your first minutes, minutes that you recorded. Um, so it goes on and so forth. I have uh, this document with all of the examples also on the Muscatine County Extension webpage. So you can use this to um, kind of see what an example all the way through of what that would look like. At the end, um, after you've completed your uh, records for the year, you can also include any pictures, clippings, other documents that relate to your past program year in this at the end here. Um, after you have your first year in 4-H, you will continue to build upon um, your program years one after the other. So in this example, Jane has been in 4-H since 2020, so she has 2021, 2022, and 2023. Um, so they build upon each other. If you already have a record book, you can just put this new record format right on top of your old ones and just leave your old records just as they are. After your personal area is your project area. So your project area um, should be broken up into your different project areas. So uh, Jane is in swine. She is also in photography, dog, and health. And so she has a section for each of those different project areas. Um, at the beginning of each project area, you should have your certificate of achievement to keep track of your seals. And so you will receive this certificate once you turn in your record book after your first year. So if this is your first year of record keeping, you won't have this certificate yet, but this is where, you, where you'll put it once you receive it. After your certificate, um, you'll have your project area records and your project area seal checklist. So this document is to help keep track of your project area goals, as well as your communication activities, civic engagement activities, leadership activities, and exhibits that you do within that project area. For Jane, um, she has uh, several goals, one for each year that she's been in 4-H, some communication activities, um, some civic engagement, leadership, and several exhibits that she's taken to the fair. Um, your goals here can come directly from your personal area of goals. So you can see that Jane, um, her goal is, I want to volunteer to participate in the Bacon Buddies, is the same goal that she had in her personal area right here. So um, you can just transfer that goal right over into the project area goals. As well as if you have anything in that personal area that relates to the project area, if it's a communication activity, a civic engagement activity, or a leadership activity, you can just go ahead and transfer that over into this area. But it doesn't necessarily have to be. If you just do something outside of it that you didn't happen to put in that personal area record, you can just write it in right here to make sure that you keep track of all of the activities that you do within your project area. As you're filling out this sheet, 
Um, make sure that you keep track of what you have accomplished to achieve your seals. So the in um, for each project area, you can receive a white, red, blue, or purple seal. And each seal has different criteria that you need to meet in order to achieve that seal. Most of them relate to your exhibits or sort of civic engagement, leadership, or communication activities. They build upon each other. And so um, each year you can achieve a different seal. You might have to take a break and, and work on a few things in between years, but um, you can keep track of what you've achieved in e for each seal right here. So just go ahead and transfer over or anything that once you've done it into this area. And then um, once you have uh, achieved a seal, it'll be put onto your certificate here. And once you get a purple seal, you will receive $25. After your uh, project area and project area seal checklist, um, you should include anything else that's related to your project area. So for many project areas, there is a worksheet that is available that you can use um, to help keep track of things like your finances, um, health records for animals, um, and other reflection pieces. So for the swine project area, for example, you should use either the breeding or market worksheets. And this um, has information about um, how much money you have made and what you've spent and um, other things related to your animals. You can also include any other pictures or clippings or documents that relate to that project area in that year um, in this section also. Uh, for photography, for example, uh, has a photography project worksheet that you can use and um, this is related to um, the pictures and photographs that you've taken the, in the past year. Dog also has a worksheet that you can use, and this is a permanent record, which means that um, you keep this document year after year and just continue to update it as your dog grows and, and receives um, new vaccines and, and whatnot. Um, health, for example, however, does not have a specific worksheet to use. And in that case, you can just go ahead and put your fair write-up right in the, at the end of um, your project area for the year. I hope that helps with your record book keeping and if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me at the Muscatine County Extension Office. Thank you!